Welcome back, everybody, to the adventures of Sir Boris Doherty Mod Von Archibald of Damascus. Yesterday, I left us with a very key decision where I said, do we buy a city or do we buy a castle? And there was a bit of confusion in the comment section. I will admit, a little bit of chaos about people saying that if I uh, took the city, then we wouldn't be able to play as our daughter because republics, you know, obviously you traditionally play as men in those. But you've, this is not this is not Grandad CK2, okay? The, the Rise of Power mod adds way, way more than you could imagine, including a whole bunch of, uh, not only gunman types, but obviously a bunch of succession types as well. So cities is actually run by something called, um, I forget what it is, like Council Succession or something like that. So basically, you get to vote from amongst the councillors. More to the point, everybody wanted city, from what I could tell, besides a couple of people. But hopefully you guys can see why I would personally also want to play a city, because I think that's fucking cool, because we never done anything like that before. Never played as a regular old republic. Now, like I said, I've also patched it in the past so that we could actually do those matrilineal marriages, and we can actually play as a woman. That shouldn't affect things at all. We should be able to just carry on as usual as one of our daughters. $600 it is. Now, I've also made a massive mistake. I can't believe you've done this. We've decided to become a landed character when there's the fucking plague absolutely everywhere all at once. So, we might also instantly die because we're going to be a landed character. But we'll cross that hill when we get there. Give me, give me that city, boy. A city has finished construction in Damascus. Look upon Baron. Boris Doherty, Mog von Archibald. Now, it, it does make some sense as well. A lot of people are saying, like, he's worried. Does he not deserve a castle? I like the idea that, that you know, this is more towards the Jewish side of the, of, of the character and the dynasty, especially, that, you know, he's obviously been exiled from realms many, many times before because apparently that's what was happening when we were being kicked out of courts. You do get the in-game event in CK2 where, you know, a, a Jewish exile will approach you. You can actually set up uh, Jewish enclaves in your cities in terms of tax and whatever else. It's basically what we've just done. So I think that that fits the character kind of well as... Uh, as as well. That was poorly worded. But the question is, what can we do as a republic? So, leaders of regular republics are chosen from among the citizenry, which of course we were. This kind of republic can never go above duke tier, right? Of course, otherwise you would just flip to merchant republic, right? That's what happens when you land a uh, land a republic with a ducal level tiles. So, we can hold city holdings without penalties. Makes sense. We can build fort and hospital, which we can't really because, of course, we don't have the uh, the province. Cannot create kingdoms, cannot usurp kingdoms or empires. That's interesting. So, we've got claim on somewhere through marriage or something. We might actually be to steal a title. Uh, have minus one fewer commanders. Makes sense because we're a city. Can move capital within the same lifetime every 600 months. So if we came across another city, we would be able to switch over, I would assume. I, I guess you would do that by switching a primary title rather than doing it the, the sort of traditional way. Can't run kingdoms and empires characters with the government. That's not relevant. And can't receive kingdoms and empires from characters with different government. That is also not relevant because we're never going to be able to receive a kingdom from a republic government type. Okay, cool. So let's check out the... Uh, yeah, that's what it's called. The Igna Absolute Cognatic Democratic Election. So, it's still not quite all swings and roundabouts. You are right right now in the sense that we can't nominate our daughter as a successor because we would need to go for... Uh, we, we need to put her on the council or something like that because they need to be, as it said... Uh, does it say that? Yeah, can all councillors are all valid candidates. So, we've also got to bear in mind that we will have to put our daughter on the council and she's shit. But... It's not a big loss, is it, to ensure that the family lives? I mean, if we wanted to, we could we could nominate my god, my good man Chan and I, who I think we invited like years ago to educate our son, didn't we? Man, I'm I'm really glad he stayed with us all the way to the end here. Let's get I say to the end as if we're not just like a baron rather than an emperor or anything. Um, right, okay. So what are you good at? We can make you our marshal. To be honest, you're not poorly suited to that, I guess. Um, steward, I guess you're not terrible either. And then spy master will put Elizabeth on that one, and that way we should. Fingers crossed. I did think this worked, but I didn't actually check it, I will admit. Wouldn't I look silly if it didn't work now? Um, let's unpause it. How about, how about now? Hey, there we go. Oh, my God. I thought the comment section was right there for a second. I almost had a heart attack. Elizabeth and Algernon, Arabelle, Tabitha, a saxophone. You are nominated. So, oh, that's interesting. The councillors themselves get a vote. Wait, who the fuck are you? My courtiers get votes. Oh, wow. That's cool. So, we have to appeal to the people. It's, it's like, well, okay, we are being elected like a mayor would. That's, that's kind of an interesting mechanic then. So we, as the current uh, baron, get four votes. Or we get plus three, I should say, to, uh, to that. Because we're the baron, we get base of one. And then any other courtiers, I guess, get to vote as well. Uh, she is greedy, so you're not up for her. But he has a high stewardship. Oh, no, no, she is greedy, so you are up for her. Because it's a republic? This is a really interesting government type. Wow, okay, fair enough. Um, and then we've, of course, got all the other types of rules that we can switch around there. Like I said, I had to make stats with it full to avoid some of the conflictions between Jewish kings and the things so that we could do matrimonial marriages ages ago anyway. Um, vassal obligations, we don't have to worry about either. Man, it feels weird being a landed character, but also we're not a landed character because we don't have any land. We just have a castle at this stage. So we've still got to try and, I guess, please our 
our immediate lead here in the form of Duke Adrian the Schema. This is cool. This is so weird. So we've got so many more options to us now because I guess we are technically landed. So, uh, yeah, look at that. Instruct Council to search for artifacts. We can, uh, we can even shut the gates, which, to be honest, I think I'm probably going to do that. I feel like that's... First court of order, we're going to shut the gates to the city. Nobody ever goes in. No one ever comes out. We can borrow money now. We can compose a book, which is quite nice. Of course, we couldn't do that before. And what can we actually build in the city? That's the real question. Um, everything. We can build everything. Water reservoir. Well, not, not quite everything, but water reservoir, university. We are playing with Floggy's tech mod, but I imagine not being technically a landed character is going to affect that to some extent. Man, this is so weird. I guess I can go ahead and disable some of these other stuff as well. So we go ahead and re-enable open council positions because we can actually fill our council now or I guess invite people to court. Oh, there we go. We've actually got uh, potential councillors. Welcome aboard, my friend. What can we actually have them do, though? Because we still don't have land, so I guess we can't collect taxes. Oh, we can. Oh, very nice. Okay, then. Um, train troops. I mean, have we got any troops? We've got 162 men, so we're not going to be going to war anytime soon. Okay, fair enough. Um, let's also... I mean, actually, having a chancellor just capable of performing statecraft to improve in diplomat relations, this is massive for us. We could go to the king of Jerusalem and start building up some favors with him. Or we could go for, again, our direct liege in the hopes that eventually we could buy a county from him if he comes across there. And actually, does he have spare ones? He's got loads. Okay, so we could potentially swear this guy and then eventually work our way up to count as well. That'd be kind of cool. Obviously, not in Damascus. We'd have to try and purchase something else from him there. Very nice. Okay, uh, what else can we do with the council then? Study tech, I imagine. I mean, there's no point doing that because we, of course, can't invest the tech points. Um... So I'll have you scheme. I think scheming or building a spy network obviously makes way more sense. And then we'll have you proselytizing. Then we've got cartographer from the Great Trade League, which is uh, more or less irrelevant because we can't invest the goods in any provinces there. Okay, cool. So we need to find our daughter a husband, I would say, pretty damn quickly before she becomes a noble. So that way they'll be less likely to uh, accept things like that. It's, it's just easier as it is right now when we still got control of things. Um... Genius. Okay, I'm liking the look of that. Have we got any prodigies kicking around? We are playing with my traits mod. Uh, no, pro maybe we could invite one to court now that, again, we are sort of kind of landed, but not really. Um, we have some power. There are prodigies kicking around. Okay, let's go for men, preferably unmarried, preferably not in prison as well, although it wouldn't really matter too much. Uh, ruler, again, preferably not. Diplo range, absolutely. Okay, so we've got a choice of four guys. Man, if I could invite any of these to our court, that would give us so many options. Now, to be honest, Genius is probably a safer bet than Prodigy, because Prodigy has a really, really low chance to inherit compared to Genius, but it does give plus six to everything, so if you want to gamble, this could be the way to do it. Can we invite him to court? Is it possible? Um, I mean, it is, but the chance of us doing it is going to be very, very difficult. Can we maybe offer him a marriage directly? Uh, level marriage must... Oh, yeah, 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 of course, must. Um, very hard difficulty. I had no idea the difficulty affected the AI... Accepting that? You fucker. Okay. Uh, that's my own fault then. My bad. I had no idea that was a thing. How have we not seen that in previous series? Am I going nuts? Okay. Um, never mind then. All these guys are going to be too difficult. Let's just go for that genius. You know what? Uh, like I said, it's a higher chance of inheriting as well. So let's not, uh, let's not look a gift horse in the mouth here. Where are you, my friend? Uh, I'm not going to try and say your name because I'll offend everyone. I'm going to call you my daughter's husband. Welcome. <gasps> Did I just marry her off? Not matrilineally. You moron. You absolute fool. Uh, oh my god, and she's left our court. <sighs> ah, wow. Uh, I do have, honestly, I've got like 4,000 hours in this game. But you can you can check my Steam, but fuck. <laughs> well, goodbye, daughter. You were elected very, very briefly. Um, I guess, oh, come on, you fool. What are you doing? I guess we'll elect our other daughter. Who's this moron? El Elmerich von Rayo? Everyone's voting for him? No, don't vote for him. Why? She has high stewardship. She does. What about him? He has high stewardship. He is the steward. I am the Senate. No. No, he's not the steward, though, is he? That's where you're wrong. Check again. Double check your records. Oh, he was he, he was the steward. Yeah, you're right. What happened? That's right. Are you going to cross me as well? Chennai von Jars. We've been friends for so long, and you're also betraying me. Wait, my daughter's voting for... She doesn't... Wait, What? <laughs> She's not voting for herself. She'd be winning the election, you moron. Okay. Um, yeah, no one's up for... I feel like we're going to have to roll with no council for a bit. I mean, this is... A, a, I will admit this is full-blown corruption at this stage. Uh, does that work? Are we good now? They're going to vote for the fucking priest over my daughter. There we go. They're up for it. Okay. Um, I don't like her. I don't like her. I don't like her. I don't like her. I get the feeling he doesn't really like her. What about this guy? I like him. Fair enough. Uh, your candidate, your ca yeah, everyone's up for her. Okay, fine. That's all we had to do. Oh, shit. 
Wait, what? During this evening's council meeting, our priest, I'm not going to try and say his name either, told us of a rumor he encountered. The peasants speak of an artifact hidden away not far from here. Oh, shit. Just a regular old artifact. So it's not a big deal. It, you know, if we lose it or anything, it's probably just going to be a foot of a saint or some garbage like that. Um, but that's still quite nice. We can instruct one of our councils to look for it. Given the situation, Ren, I guess we'll, we'll send you off then. Um, wait. Oh, he's in seclusion. Right. We'll probably wait for the plague to disappear first. Daughter number two, let's not risk any marriages. Let's not do anything that could potentially have a leave our court. I don't want to run. Let's wait until she's inherited first. Arrange a marriage second. Because I have a feeling if we arrange a marriage for her right now, she'll leave our court because we're not a landed character. Does that make sense? Because if we marry her off to, I guess we could invite someone to our court and marry her to him. As long as we don't marry outside the realm, it's fine. But then we've got to try and either A, invite someone to court or marry her off to some just complete random garbage idiot. Um... Carmen, our cartographer's not terrible, I guess. What if we do a matrimonial marriage between her and him? They're in our court, so they're not going to leave. It's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. And when we've only got, like, her left out of our dynasty, because obviously we've just completely fucked up the other daughter there. Um, and there's a play kicking around. I don't really want to leave it to too much chance here. So let's hopefully they'll get to work pretty, pretty, pretty post-haste and get work on some grandkids there. Oh, my God. L I... That was unreal. I've never had that happen before. You press unpause. Day later, he died. That was absolutely insane. Holy shit. You have a new era. If your character dies with players, blah, 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 blah. Uh, fine. Ho what? I've never seen that happen before. Okay. A naive woman. Her reluctant nature may stop her from taking charge. Long live Baron Ulrika Merit Theodosis by the Wellington. We could have found her a better husband. Turns out I just had to wait a day to die. And there he goes. Holy shit. He barely even had time to retire. Baron Boris Doherty Mog von Archibald has finally died. At the age of 74, he died a natural death. A zealous man, he fought for the glory of Hakadosh Barachu against the heathens in one of the greatest holy wars of recent history. Don't remember that. Uh, oh no, he fought in a Christian holy war, which apparently gave him the... Don't worry about it. Baroness Ulrika Mary Theodosi Smythe, one into naive woman, blah, 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 blah. She's terrible. We get the picture game. I cannot believe that. That's absolutely insane. Oh... If a person accepts a covenant that Hashem made with the children of Israel and Sinai, they become a member of the Hebrew nation. So we can adopt the local Israelite culture. Interesting. Um, this wasn't the one I was expecting, because of course we were talking about the whole Hebrew thing, and if we move back, we could adopt it. But apparently the game's already like, hey, uh, Miz, uh, again, I admit, fully ignorant, no idea what this word means at all. Uh, Mizrachi? Why not? I mean, we're here, huh? Uh, we just get 0 0.5 on the party. Okay, fine, we're now an Israelite. Cool. And then we also get the, uh, obviously the health and learning from the religion too. Does that give us anything, any un anything unique? Wants to sell us in the capital. What is that? Support your people of the culture. Oh, wow. So we could, uh, is that a way to flip from, so right now it's Arabic and Catholic. Could we potentially flip it over to, uh, to Jewish from just the city? That would be interesting. So we get a big influx of, of settlers to our provinces. Right. Okay. So. Already can marry Theodosius Smythe Wellington. The question is, A, do we want to kick off, get rid of this husband, like chuck him in the Levantine Sea, and then go for a better one? Might not be a bad idea, because now we can actually invite them to court. They might be more willing to come to our court if she's, like, you know, offering marriage. Let's go for Diplo Range. Yes, join court. Yes. Okay. Okay, this is good. There's, there's better people. Look, Midas touched, lustful, immediately better. Um, I'm looking for anybody with inheritable traits, to be honest. There's absolutely no one, is there? Fucking hell. This guy is better, though, just because simply he's lustful. I'm going to invite him to court. I think I might have to... I'm sorry, Carmen. My father forced this marriage out of desperation. You're gone. Okay, Carmen. You're gone, but not in that way. It's qu quiet. Don't tell him. It's a secret. Um, holy fuck. What? How much money did he... 550 gold to divorce as a as a mayor? I guess maybe it's a public scandal or something like that. Anyway, uh, we can't nominate this because of course our daughter's gone. Uh, sorry, our sister's gone. My god, wow. Okay, so let's have the, the council. I don't mind setting up councillors, even if they're going to be running against us in an election, because it's probably going to be a long time before we have uh, an election to worry about. What do they all hate us? Rival. Oh shit, okay. Uh, you can leave then. Goodbye. Um, who else we got? What are you? Uh, oh my god, personal diplomacy minus six, short reign foreigner, gluttonous, cruel, ambitious, infidel, and prestige. Okay, you can leave as well, because I feel like this is just going to get us killed, if anything else. So, let's kick him out too. Um, and the other guys don't necessarily dislike us, but they're not too, really too bothered. The short reign is going to uh, be contributing to that. Okay, so steward. Um, oh, she's perfect for it. Yeah, welcome. Okay, there we go. Or not. I guess we'll wait for the seclusion to disappear first. Probably missing out on a lot of stuff because of that.
the plus side now, we can try and assemble, like, awesome and incredible council. So we've got, like, 22 stewardship on this guy. We got 16 intrigue on her. Uh, Marshall's a bit thin on the guy. My god, she's just good in loads of things. Let's also get her here. Oh, we've already invited her. Shit. Oh, she's also the intrigue one. My god, okay. Um, we've got to be careful not to invite someone with plague. Oh, no. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's not a problem, okay? It's not a problem at all. With, with the gates are shut, how could she ever get in anyway? <laughs> Duke Archibald Lord Windsor flipping Tofty Junior Rascal and made the Duchy of Jerusalem his primary title? What? <laughs> what? He's got the Duchy of Jerusalem, he's got the Duchy of Ascalon, he's got the... Du what the fuck have you been doing? Ascalon, history. Badger in the sword of... Granted to him. When was that? Like 20 years ago. Okay. Uh, oh, maybe that was the first one he got. Okay, sorry, my bad. So, so what else do you get then? Uh, this one is definitely uh, granted by him. Revoked. So he revoked it from this guy and then granted it to him. 11. What the fuck? Uh, okay, Realm Rebellion, I assume. I have really no idea. And then we've also got Jerusalem as well. Why would he get this one? Granted. What the hell are you doing, you weird boy? He's giving away his last duchy. Is this some like weird council shit that's going on? I feel like he's completely swallowed up the entire realm. He absolutely has. Oh my god. He's taken like most of, of, of central Jerusalem there. The fucking mad lad. Okay. Um, my god, they've really put us to shame. That side of the, that branch of the family, we've still got to try and kill them off. They're our ultimate rivals here. The fight for Jerusalem is going to be... Oh my god, I thought we were about to be assassinated then. You can't... Don't use that event picture ever. I tried to get a good night's sleep, but I'm tormented by horrible current nightmares of our people. Um... I'm pretty sure we could sleep easily. Uh, general opinion, minus 10. Not really very good when we're trying to go for a murder plot to get rid of our husband, who's going to cost us otherwise 500 gold to divorce. Um, take Craven. Oh, God, she can't really get much fucking worse at this stage. Shy, trusting Craven, cruel. The only thing she's got is ambitious going for her. Fine. This is a real challenge, this character. We are going to turn her into something good, though, trust me. Oh, never mind. Uh, you've searched Damascus from top to bottom and have come to the realization there really are no more pickled boar's heads. Not only that, the other food stocks are nearing exhaustion. I should eat my fill while I can. Uh, general opinion, minus 20. You fucking animal. The game... <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe how good Boris was and how shit his daughter is. She's just the worst person in the world right now. Ho uh, don't show me him. Don't show me him. And then rats have eaten the rest. Brilliant. Okay, I have a real... We've we got a real hard task on our hand now to try and... To try and redeem her. Um, can we join any societies? Stewardship of 10. We can't do that one. We can join the sand pit and get our ass kit, which might be appropriate. Uh, diplomacy. Intrigue. She hasn't got any stats. She's barely got stats above 5, let alone 10. Okay. We should pick a focus, at least. That, that, that'll be a good start. Rulership. It might be a good idea for her to actually learn how to rule over people. Try and get rid of cruel. Um, you can also get gregarious from rulership, can't you? That might help out. Oh, God, let's go for it. I mean, this, the stewardship is also quite nice too. Uh, we're going to eat a number of rats, which I'm definitely sure is not going to affect us at all during the bubonic plague. Not a problem. Um, this is hard. This actually might be the hardest character I think we've ever inherited in CK2. <gasps> oh, he put... Gavelkind has got him. Holy shit, Gavelkind just pulled their, pulled their land apart. Very nice. Uh, I mean, the Diapiano dynasty, our original dynasty, of course, uh, does seem to have propagated quite far, then. That means they control half of Jerusalem each. That might make our job just way more difficult. Either that, or they might end up combining back together, or lying, whatever else. That is a... I can't believe how well they've done. That's absolutely insane. Chance are one brother's just going to murder the other, right? They're probably going to immediately fly to war after the plague is gone. Hang on. Speak of the devil. The plague is gone. Open the gates. Open the gates. Right, okay. First step, then. Oh. You want us to be, to be what? To be your commander? Are you alright, pal? Have you got... He's fine. Yeah, no, he seems mental. Sorry, I just want to make sure all his mental faculties were there. No, Adrian the schemer. A bit like Homer Simpson. What are we going to do then? What, where do I even start with this shit character? Uh, well, first things first, we need to get rid of her husband. Well, we don't desperately need to get rid of her husband. Any kid is, is fine right now. Um, but I, I, we need every chance we can get for the next generation to be redeemed. Maybe maybe all the all the good the, the luck and the skill skipper generation or something like that. So he needs to die. What what allies can we get in this? Nobody. Everybody hates us because we're an awful person who ate all the food. Understandable, really. Sponsor settlers in the capital. Oh my god, Damascus just immediately becomes Jewish and Mizrachi. 
Oh, wow. So poor people of your country settle in the capital province. So not necessarily just our, you know, our neck of the woods there. Interesting. 400 gold. It's expensive, but that's a hell of a way to, uh, to, to really take our place, isn't it? I like that a lot. Cause a book might help out quite a lot too, but I mean, it's going to take her a long time to write, and she also might end up just writing a shit book, and it's going to be... Actually, I thought it would be expensive. It's only 50 gold still. Um, okay, this I feel like we should just do, because it's a great plan. And there we go, boom. That's that's so cool. That's like a really nice little feature there that we can sort of assimilate from the inside, because of course we just have a city of our people. That's really nice. Okay, uh, the society's honestly we're a bit thin on the ground. I'm going to join the sandpit, because... Like our father, you know, he earned a lot of his skills through training. His bravery he got from being taught how to, to, to fight in, in just the training missions. We don't necessarily have to go out and get our ass kicked. We do have a sword, though. Oh, my God, she's got it equipped. She's still got four personal combat. Are you kidding me? I don't even know where to begin. Okay. Um, rulership folks, we just hope that that eventually will kick in, you know. Potentially get just out of it. She could or at least get rid of Cruel, if nothing else. So that would be a nice start. Um... Failing that, I really should have gone for, like, carousing or something. Our husband's in hiding, too. God damn. Us to leave court. Wait, you're not sure what... what we can just kick our husband out of court? Then what happens? Uh, and then can we... Uh, we can't arrange a divorce. Of course, he's in hiding. And it would cost us 1,150 gold. Shit. Uh, do you want to come back to court, then? Okay, come back. That's fine. God damn. Okay, let's stop the plot against him, then. I feel like we're probably stuck with this guy for a while. Uh, send him a gift. Can we sway him? We can't sway him because he's also in hiding. Okay, fair enough. Oh, my God, no. Wait, no. Oh, my God, yes. He's going to die. That's fine. Thank God we ate those rats. My God, that was a genius play. It wasn't her being greedy at all. You all thought that she was just uh, she was just a very hangry girl? No. My husband, look at these fine rats I've caught for us to eat. Here, take all of them, especially the alive ones covered in fleas. No, I must not find a court physician. Or I must find a court physician. Ha ha. Oh my god, she's done it. Oh, Baroness Ulrika, you've redeemed yourself already. Okay. Um, so who's that guy we invited to court? Because he was, he was really good. You know, just, just for the lustful trait alone to try and get some kids in this damn dynasty wouldn't hurt. Arrange marriage. She's not a widow because she's not bothered by that at all. She's, she's really not too upset about her poor husband dying. It was a tragedy. Don't get me wrong. Not that much of a tragedy, though. Um, oh, shit. This guy's astute. So slightly better than quit. They're plus four to everything. What does the guy with, with lustful? Did he... Fuck off. Last fall? He's gone. Okay. Uh, let's shop around for a bit. Let's see if that we can invite anybody to court who's willing to j join us to a men. Uh, okay. Uh, men join court. Yes. No. Okay. I didn't have my filter set too strict or anything. There's just no one that wants to join us. All right. Take what you can get then. So we got this guy here who's bountiful. 35% fertility. He's also... He is a competent schemer though. So we do need to kind of keep him on side a little bit. Otherwise, we might end up being assassinated there. Fine. Everyone's concerned games to go. We'll take the prestige because we are now a massive prestige debt, despite the fact that we are still only just a baron. Okay, can we sway him? Let's start working on him. Let, let's, let's bring him onto our side a little bit there. But prolific is quite nice. Oh, sorry, bountiful is quite nice. 35% bonus fertility, and it's inheritable. Small chance to inherit it, though. So we can't really rely on it there. Uh, Erudite Herbalist. It turns out I actually don't need your services after all. Weird. You must have got my letter by mistake. My, I've ne my husband's never been ill. He's perfectly fine, aren't you? Now, I'm well aware we've got uh, minor titles grantable. Uh, no one wants the minor titles. Kind of understandable, really. I'm just going to go ahead and say, let's not worry about that for the time. They're probably just automatically declining it because we're a terrible person. Do we want counselors? Why do you all hate me this much? Because we're gluttonous. That is genuinely it, isn't it? Gluttonous, infidel, abandon the commoners. Let's ask the Christians to leave our court. Get out of here. Just because they are, they are troublemakers waiting to happen, right? You guys are gone. And then let's go ahead and... If we give some of these titles out, they might start liking some people. They're just not up for it. Oh, my God. That's how disliked we are. Okay, we need to start building up opinion. And this is why I said maybe carousing might have been a better idea in hindsight. Write a book. Well, write a book. That's how you win people over. You write a book. Let's do War of Family History. Um, Family History can give us dynasty opinion, which I suppose is better than nothing. History of... Really? Six Marshall? I think we'll go for the family history instead. Write a book on Baron Boris Doherty. The, honestly, one of the most incredible characters we've ever had in CK2. I think he definitely deserves some sort of memorial. She's going to fuck it up, isn't she? My god. Uh, merciful. Monthly prestige and intrigue minus one. We, that's the last thing we need right now is less intrigue. Um, trying to be more ambitious, although we might end up just killing us anyway. Now he dislikes us. We've lost uh, both Greedy and the other one. Abandoned the commoners, that's it. So they like us slightly more, but still not, not enough to, to join the council. So then what can we build? Uh, a well or a town market? Oh, actually, we should probably build a village first, huh? Although the town market is actually pretty good. 
Uh, tax income plus three. I mean, what's our tax income right now? 1.72. Let's go for it. We should probably start with a lot of the tax buildings to allow us to build, obviously, some of the more, more important stuff later on here. So we can't build ourselves a house. Um, so Flogus Techmon basically adds the ability in your capital province to uh, build yourself a... Very similar to the Patrician's house as a merchant republic, but we don't have the access to that, so I assume you actually need to own the county there. So, how do we get a county? Can we offer to buy a title, or does he have to, like, offer it to us first? Uh, I, I've seen it somewhere but by going on one of the flags, but again, maybe he just doesn't have anything for sale. Maybe we need a certain amount of prestige or gold or something like that. I'll look into that later. I feel like it's a bit early to be considering stuff like that. Dear Baroness Ulrika Mary Theodosia Smythe Wellington of Damascus, hereby invite you to a grand feast. Absolutely. In what? No. In Negev. That's between... Wait, oh, oh shit, whoa, whoa, have they lost some land already? <gasps> no, there he is, De Diapiano. Okay, no, they've kept all their land. Sorry, I thought they, uh, I thought they had this one too. Might be going crazy there. Okay, so we greeted us, welcomed us warmly to the feast. Thank you for having us. You better not have any of those Diapianos. I can't stand them. Will there be a feast next year? Five prestige, that'll help. You know, also not having uh, minus 132 piety prestige would help a lot. A peasant accused of murder, oh good lord, is dragged before you in your court. His wife and children found butchered in a small hut they called home. Why can't I read? A small hut they called home, and he was standing near be covered in their blood. Despite the damning evidence, the man continues to profess his innocence. What should we do with him? Uh, we can hang him, toss him in the dungeon, and leave him there. So, oh god damn, this event is a real pain in the ass. If it turns out, of course, he's not the murderer, we're going to look like a right dick. Um, I'm gonna toss him in the dungeons and leave him there because that way we could always let him go if the real murderer is found again We immediately gain just from that Told ya I told you I knew what I was doing 4,000 hours boys gain the trait just become known as the just immediately My god, okay fine. That's a hell of a start and Perganant 2. Oh my god Suddenly suddenly the redemption arc so we'll go for the general opinion plus 10, I think. Ouch. As I place my hand over my belly and slowly sit down, a soft smile makes its way across my face. The baby is kicking and I wonder if he'll grow up to be a warrior. If he grows up to be a warrior, there's an obvious man who we name him after. The, the, the people's champion, Boris himself. I'm sure I'm carrying a fierce little Boris. Oh no, we're stressed. She's Maybe she's a little bit sad about the fact that her father is inside. Nope. Dear wife, you are good and nice and also kind. I've been appointed as your regent. Thank you, husband. Okay. Let's see what, let's see what we end up, what, sorry? What can I possibly do to endear him to me? Oh, I'm not particularly experienced making people like me, but it can't be that hard. Is there a bard mocking him in Damascus? Uh, we're going to send him the head of one of his detractors. Well, we are just, after all. Let's do it. Let's decapitate, oh, he's not up for it. We sent our husband a decapitated bard, and he was apparently not pleased by it, because he's a fucking weirdo. <gasps> Little Boris. He's also bountiful. The Redemption Arc. It's it's incredible. Fine. You know what we must name him? Name after Grandfather. Archibald? No, no, no. Not Archibald. The other one. Not Father. Random Ancestor. What? Why not Boris? Am I... <laughs> Sorry, his. Okay, Archibald is fine and all, but... What about... Oh, no, no. That is it. Von Archibald. That's the, the end of his name. There he is. Boris Doherty Mog Von Archibald Ibn Overdyer. And then let's also pick him a focus. What should we train this, this kid in then? So does Bountiful give him anything in particular? I feel like stewardship would be a good focus now, given that we've got the, the barony. Let's do it. Why not? Once that you'll not be able to change his children's focus, doesn't matter too much. I'm sure we can also find a good educator for him as well. Uh, so I recall we have some really good stewards. Yeah, we really do. Uh, it's, I mean, this guy's shrewd as well, so he's incredibly good. Educate my, my baby son. Teach him numbers. Another feast. Maybe she wasn't pregnant. Maybe she's just that. Okay, let's, let's go and head over. See what he's got. Thank you. Uh, delicious aromas. Thank you for having me, my friend. What what about those Diapianos? You seen any? <gasps> what is this one? Boris Doddity Mog von Archibald. Oh, uh, sleeps safely in my arms. He looks so sweet and innocent. The first days after the pregnancy was over, but I could not be parts from him. But I've started to feel the weight of my responsibilities as Baroness pulling me away from him. Uh, I cannot stand this sight. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Time to go to the wet nurses. Uh... Let Boris be raised by the son of Eddie Baroness. So we can either hand him off to the wet nurses or we can angrily hand him off to the wet nurses. What the hell? Oh, we lose opinion of him. Neglect Boris and focus entirely on recovering from your pregnancy. Why would we not do that? We lose opinion of him because he's an ungrateful pest. Well up for it. She is cruel after all. She might be just, but she is still cruel. Ah, oh, fuck. Immediately stressed again. Okay. Forget about the... What the hell's going on up there, chief? Are you Okay. I think he's, think he's a little bit lost. Do you need some directions? Are you okay? What the hell's going on with that? <laughs> oh, magical horse. 
Oh, no, oh, he's gone. Okay. I shouldn't have started. Shouldn't have started the nitro button. Plus, I should use my extensive military knowledge. Oh, all those battles we fought. And right. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, let's talk strategy. She she will she knows everything there is. Uh, she's a complete expert. Are you kidding me? Another fu is that all you people do around here? We just sit and eat every day. He did, however, gain a friend this feast. My good man, Mayor Ives of Urbid, whoever he is, another fe fellow mayor. And who's this other guy as well? Oh my god, we made another friend. The League of Mayors. Oh, let's make our own society. We don't need all these other ones. Sampit, rubbish. Court of Brothers, rubbish. Make our own the society of... Shit, I haven't got a name for that. Come on, give me a break. Will there be a feast next year? Gain five prestige. Thank you. We're, we're almost, we've almost recovered from this prestige. Another, another 20 years or so, we'll be back in the green. Why don't we just invite women to our court? If men won't agree to be on our council because they dislike us because of woman, who is also gluttonous, then why don't we just invite a bunch of women to our court and, and rule the realm this way instead? She's not alone, okay? She's not... Oh God, don't, don't, don't do this. Don't go down this route. Okay, who, who do we want to... I could have sort my opinion then, haven't I? Uh, oh, they're not, they're not all here yet. Sorry, give them, give them a second. Give them, give them a minute. Okay, there we go. Okay, sort my opinion. And still nothing, huh? Ah, oh, there we go. Welcome. Did she also decline me then? You... Okay, maybe they're not declaring me. Maybe it's just broken. Oh, it's working earlier. Uh, so you could have Okay, everything's good there. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, that's okay, too. Go for a late administration in a city. What the hell will that do for us, I wonder? Um, please join my council. Uh, please, just, just for a, a minute or two. She's 30, and the best thing she's done for us so far is have two kids. Fine, gain 10 prestige. Okay, fair enough. Um... Hey, this one might get something inherited. Low chance, but there's still a possibility. We can't really do much right now. Uh, especially given that we've got no council. Unless we can... Why can't we put... The thing is, that would also allow them to get uh, elected, too. It's got to be down to the opinion, right? I think... Okay, maybe maybe a reboot fix anyway. Greetings, I'm Rick and Mary Theodosius. My name is Tom. I need the search for an instructor. You've come to the right place, my friend. The combat champion that is Baroness Ulrika Mary Theodosius. My name is the Just. Absolutely. Bang on. Let's start training him straight away. Hope he's ready because we have everything to teach. We have nothing to teach. Suggest so train alone because we have nothing to teach. As I was laying down, gently caressing my stomach, which is what everybody does. On, do you guys not do that at home? Probably doing it right now. I hope it's a boy. Um. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I hope it's a boy. Will that help, help us get titles? I mean, what, what can we see the Let's go to Gavel kind. That doesn't really matter too much then. Uh, I'm just seeing like the general title succession. Doesn't matter. I agree. Actually doesn't in this situation. I covered my mouth and tried to contain a giggle. Spotting a servant discreetly lighting up a candle, I realized that it's night already. Oh, I already do a lot of talking. Lose shy. Or we guarantee losing stress and a chance of gaining one diplomacy. Damn, that'd be all right. Um, but, hang on, when she, when she has Babby, when Babby is formed, then she loses stress anyway. So I feel like we should try and, try and run the risk on, on Shy instead. Come on. 50%. You fucker. You absolute fool. Uh, send her a waterfall. Get out of here. We can't teach you anything. I don't even know why you're here. Give me that Babby. Show me what we've got. Is it going to be Boris the <gasps> second? It is Boris the second. He's got nothing going for him though. Okay, uh, name after... We've, we've actually only got one person named... What was our great-grandfather called? No, no, no. What was our grandfather called? It was our first character. Uh, of course. How could I forget? Archbold Lord Windsor Flipping Tofferty. Get him renamed. My God, she actually did it. The mad lad. Instructor Ulrich and Mary Theodosius, my Wellington. I believe our training sessions are at an end. You have taught me well and I am a changed man. She'll minus six personal combat, let's point out. Uh, always glad to help a fellow fighter. We're out of the negative. Oh, my God. Okay. And now we can do stuff. We can get into shape. We can request our own military training. Might not be a bad idea. Now, again, I want to do this because this will give us access to so many potential traits. This is such a legit strategy for building a character. Not necessarily in combat, but just trying to get her at least something good going for her. She, anything uh, well, at this stage would be fantastic. Pray for diplomacy? Nothing. Okay. Doesn't matter too much. Now they want to be our counselors. Wait, do you need positive prestige to elect counselors? You do. I am a fool. How could I forget that? We had this problem before. I am a complete moron. This is this is so many... Again, I've played this game a fair amount. You'd think I'd remember. Okay, you stay here. You collect taxes immediately because we've actually got something to collect taxes from. We have a market now. Uh, train some troops. Bit irrelevant. I don't really know what to do with you. Um, arrest chance plus 16%. Not too bad. We can invite people to our court who have a lot of money. Spy on them. You know, maybe make up some fabrications. Chuck them in prison. Take their gold. Send them on their way. That's not a terrible plan. Organize the army will give us commanders, which would be quite nice. Uh, potentially good male breeding stop. Yeah, I'll keep that one around. 
from Statecraft, that will also probably be the best option here. And then... Proselytize? I don't really know what to do. That gives us the most piety. We'll roll with that one then, Cartographer. Boom. We have a council. Now, of course, given that we've got a council, everyone's going to vote for... Holy shit. There are a lot of people who can vote in this election. And there's, unlike Merchant Republics as well, there's no way to, you know, strong arm the election. We can't just bribe people this time, unfortunately. Now, in theory, we can never lose the election because... What happened to my son? Wait, what? Who was our heir before? Oh, no, no, the guy they were voting for died. I see. Sorry. Completely... <laughs> So, okay. Um, right, so we need to find you a new guardian then, because that was Guy educating this, and he was actually a really good guardian too, which is a bit of a shame. We've got so many people at court now. Um, we're looking for anybody who's patient and diligent. Nothing. Uh, this guy's patient just, which is quite a nice combo. Um, let's try maybe diligent and something else. Diligent shrewd. Is there no diligent genius? Have we got any geniuses in court? Nope. Um, what, what was the other one? It was patient, right? So patient with anything useful there. Honestly, I think this guy is still, the, is still the best character to go for. So, Patient gives that flat bonus to Education. Then, of course, he's got Just as well, which would be very nice. Erudite, also kind of useful. Um, there you go. Go on. Educate him then. And what about you? We didn't even pick a focus for this kid. Thrift as well. Why not? We'll see which one comes out better. Ideally, we'd rather play as Boris because, A, he's called Boris, which is a fantastic name. Named after our father, of course. More importantly, he's got that inheritable trait. Um, this guy's just an ambitious. Well, this guy's got the skills. This guy's got... It's, it's only 15 in the relevant stat. It's not their education anymore that affects it. So, all right, fine. And our guy is here to teach us. Right, so this is what I was saying about the stat manipulation. Stubborn. Is that necessarily what we want here? Is that general opinion? Vassal opinion minus five. We haven't got any vassals. Because uh, stewardship loses diplomacy, though. We need people's opinion if we want to succeed in this election. I'm going to ignore his advice in this situation. And now we are depressed. I should have listened to him. Oh, God, what have I done? What do you mean? We ignored Stubborn and we succeeded? We're succeeding in all the wrong bloody pl Ah, oh, fucking hell. All right. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. Gain gain Wrath? No. <laughs> Get Lose tra Craven. That's good. Lose Cruel would be fantastic. Gain Novice Wrath. Lose Cruel. Do it. Just fucking Gain Wrath and then they, they've just they assaulted. A, a, a papal slap in the face. Get out of here. I'm so... Fuck. I'm trying to gain diplomacy here. This character's cursed. She is cursed. She's, she's completely cursed. So what we're going to have to do, the, the point I was about to make, is that uh, as long as we don't suddenly die, you know, in a duel or something like that, all we've got to do is sack everybody on the council and then elect our son. Oh, but everybody gets to vote. No, they can vote people on the council. So if our son's the only person on the council, then, then we're fine. Okay, nothing to worry about. All we've got to do is live for another 10 years. We put our son on the council, no matter how skilled he is, no matter how shit he is, then we kick everyone else off and get him elected. Granted, we're missing out on potentially collecting some tax, but it's not really doing much for us anyway. Oh shit, we've got a lot of gold. Hang on. Let's invest back in the... What are we going to call the city? Hey, here's today's uh, naming thing, seeing as apparently that's something we're doing now. What should we name the city? The current is called Swada. I think we need a better name than that. Maybe something Ode to Boris. We can't name it Ode to Boris. That's garbage. Don't suggest that. Um, what do we want? Well, 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 well. Uh, I don't think we really want a well. Artifact Vault. What do we got? City Guard. Mustering Grounds. We gotta try and build up some troops. It's actually not a bad... That will, like, almost double our troops there. Um, except not at all. Don't run the numbers on that. Militia Training Ground again. I don't really want that. I think we've got to build village. So village is your base level of town that we build on top of. So this will unlock just about everything else. So why don't we start somewhere kind of sensible? So we're going to leave this one here for today. Hopefully, I can edit this down into something that makes her seem like an incredibly just and valiant ruler. Because right now, she honestly just de seems like a steaming pile to me. I'm really not impressed by her whatsoever. This is the legacy of Boris. This absolute piece of shit. I'm... I'm disgusted. I'm disgusted in the game. I'm disgusted in myself for letting it happen. Don't forget, show me some names for that town and we'll get that renamed to something a bit more appropriate. Seeing as it's our only thing, it's like the most important thing to our dynasty right now. How many called Swad or whatever? We need something that, that hits a bit closer to home, don't we? Thank you all for watching. Tomorrow, I will definitely try and work on the editing to make it so that we are uh, have a coherent, nice, just story, because I imagine being a Baron is probably going to be quite slow for a while, at least until we get some gold going here. Uh, particularly playing as a complete garbage fire of a character that we have right now. So, maybe we'll skip over a story a little bit. Maybe we'll edit around the uh, the rough edges. Let me know Let me know what you think about that. I, I don't mind leaving some stuff in if people are interested. But I'm more than up for also maybe just, you know, shuffling around in the carpet, moving on as quickly as possible. In the meantime, 
a thank you to those who I would never shuffle under the carpet. That's right. It's your boys, the insane top tier level patrons. A big thank you to Alchemia, Anthony Golly, Sunakurito, Atmos, Average Gamer 419, Bacon Kitten, Belek Strongbow, Ben Hoffman, Chesty, Croesus, Derek, Donald, Facuna Vasquez, Gogolus, Harik, Harry McGowan, Iguana Squad, James Shea, Jonah Waters, Justin Wallace, Caden Carter, Michael Mullen, Nostros, Necrofil, and Pelvis Presley, Rodin, Scott, Skaz, Slipping Ips, Somnus, Shea, The One Ring, Tom Terror 18, Tyler Kendall, Tyler McClan, Bacchus Bacchus, Farragon, and William Green for their support at the insane tier levels on Patreon. Thank you guys for your support over on Patreon. I also put up a Patreon post today if you guys are interested with some uh, with some stats from the, the start of 2019 versus the start of 2020 so we can compare it to the end of the year, but also so you guys can see uh, basically what Patreon did for the channel, which, spoilers, was quite a lot. Oh, God, I'm losing my voice already. So let's let's move on to my good friends. That's right, it's the other patrons, including Uwu Daddy, Astro, Adam Person, Adrian Ellison, Alex Bogard, Andrew Walsh, Andrew Wilson, Anka, Astro, Attila, Vetimus Max, Better Marine, Blood for the Blood God, Brittany Lee, Buen Gun, Chris, Corgi Circus, Dapper Go, Don, Don Connie 2 and 7, Emerald Beam, Foosh, Gamer of Anders, Gaz, Genji Circle, Gothamo, Grey, Haji Dumar, I am Sagatair, I see the Great, Urotha, Jackson P, Jay Lara, Jacob Wolfie, Jason Sushu, Jose, Jeebus Crossed, Yoran DeVries, Jessica Smith, Jump's Lucky Sister, Jilly Bondle, Joseph Beer, Justin Rules, Justin Plot, Justin Walters, Kevin Saunders, Lepus, Llewellyn Thomas, Luke Wallace, Manuel Bosich, Mastolp, Monty, Mosley Sampson, Munda Difflin, My Name Isn't Dio, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Nick, Olivia Kaiser, Organized Confusion, Pantamu, Panthapel, Peyton Nenasar, Kamar Ishmael, Right Ace, Russian Oligarch Billionaire, Ryan Hooper, Sam Keir, Scaps, Shardul, Silkworm, Smirtworm, Smooth Octopus, Socrates, Souvenani 089, Sweetsea, Tony Levan, Volta, Voodoo Mumbo, Boy Prince Kibo, Will Wade, Wilson Atef, Wolfie, Yellow Four, Yorkus, Zach, and Zetlock 2. Thank you guys for your support over at Patreon. See you guys all tomorrow for hopefully this character's at immediate death. I don't think that she is redeemable.